chemical equations. Activity 1 can be described as when a magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen, it gets converted to magnesium oxide. This description of a chemical reaction in a sentence form is quite long. It can be written in a shorter form. The simplest way to do this is to write it in the form of a word equation. The word equation for the above reaction would be magnesium plus oxygen, which are the reactants, give magnesium oxide, which is the product. The substances that undergo chemical change in this reaction, magnesium and oxygen, are the reactants. The new substance, magnesium oxide, formed during the reaction is the product. A word equation shows change of reactants to products through an arrow placed between them. The reactants are written on the left-hand side, that is LHS, with a plus sign between them. Similarly, products are written on the right-hand side that is RHS with a plus sign between them. The arrowhead points towards the products and shows the direction of the reaction. Writing a chemical equation Is there any other shorter way for representing chemical equations? Chemical equations can be made more concise and useful if we use chemical formulae instead of words. A chemical equation represents a chemical reaction. If you recall, formulae of magnesium, oxygen and magnesium oxide, the above word equation can be written as Mg plus O2 gives MgO. Count and compare the number of atoms of each element on the LHS and RHS of the arrow. Is the number of atoms of each element the same on both the sides? If not, then the equation is unbalanced because the mass is not the same on both sides of the equation. Such a chemical equation is a skeletal chemical equation for a reaction. The above equation is a skeletal chemical equation for the burning of magnesium in air. Balanced chemical equations Recall the law of conservation of mass that you studied in class 9th. Mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction. That is, the total mass of the elements present in the products of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the mass of the elements present in the reactants. In other words, the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction. Hence, we need to balance a skeletal chemical equation. Is the chemical equation Mg plus O2 gives MgO balanced? Let us learn about balancing a chemical equation step by step. The word equation for activity 3 may be represented as zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. The above word equation may be represented by the following chemical equation. Zn plus H2SO4 gives ZnSO4 plus H2. 
Let us examine the number of atoms of different elements on both sides. Number of zinc atoms on left hand side in reactants is 1 and on right hand side of products is 1. Number of hydrogen atoms on left hand side in reactants is 2 and on right hand side in products is 2. Number of sulfur atoms on left hand side in reactants is 1 and on right hand side of products is 1. A number of oxygen atoms on left hand side in reactants is 4 and on right hand side of products is also 4. As the number of atoms of each element is the same, on both sides of the arrow, above equation is a balanced chemical equation.